Okay, everybody, we're back to Lego Investing with the Brick Baron, your host. And today we are looking at a pretty cool set, Minecraft The End Portal. I have held off on doing any Minecraft sets in this investing show, but um, it's time to start looking at them. So I picked set number 21124, retail of $6. And the reason I picked this set over a few others was because this one has been heavily discounted on Amazon. And currently, you can pick it up for about 30% off. So first, a little bit about Minecraft. Minecraft sales for the PC and Mac platforms only have totaled 25,852,141. That's an awful lot in the last nine years. Now, as far as dollar value for the franchise, Microsoft bought the, micro the Minecraft franchise for $2.5 billion. So Microsoft is betting heavy on Minecraft in the future. So the question here is, Lego investors, do you feel the same way? As always, let's take a look at Minecraft, the micro world, the village. This is a 2013 micro build set, uh, retailed for 35 bucks. Its current value reselling two and a half years after retirement is still 35 bucks. Parts value is $47 and there are no minifigs being it's a micro set. Now, This set is currently reselling for minus 24% of its parts value. A minus 24%, again, is not anything to totally panic over, you know, so close to after retirement. We're only about two years out, a little over two years. So, getting back to the end portal, it is time to crunch the number of Sonny Corleone. Now, if you have never seen The Godfather, your homework is to run out right now and go watch it. And go read the novel by Mario Puzo. You're going to love it. It is my favorite novel of all time and one of my top 10 favorite movies. Enough about that. Let's get back to this. So the first thing are the minifigures. You get three of them in the set. You get two Endermans and you get Steve with his uh, Azor blue um, armor. And all these, the, the two Endermen are exclusive to this set, mainly because of the printing. But really, I don't consider them exclusive minifigures. And they have had the Endermen in another set. I can't recall it off the top of my head. But these minifigures, unfortunately, are not going to drive this set because uh, they're reselling on Bricklink for absolutely minuscule dollars because you get a Steve in every Minecraft set. There are so many Steve minifigures out there. I mean, you can buy him on on uh, Bricklink for about a buck fifty. The Endermen, they're going for under two dollars a piece. So let's get back to the end portal. The parts value on the set, seventy five bucks. This is a horrible spread considering a retail price of 60. A much better spread would have been between say 100 and 120, but we're really nowhere close to that. And Sonny Corleone is nervous and he should be. So projections, two years after retirement, $70 minus 24%. We're gonna use that uh, number from the micro, uh, the micro, uh, Minecraft micro world. $57 is our result. Um, so actually you would be losing money two years out after the set is uh, retired. That's not good. But let's look beyond that and see kind of where we're heading. So eight years after retirement, um, I'm putting at a plus 0%. I don't think even in eight years it's gonna dig its way into a uh, plus percentage. Which is interesting because Minecraft is insanely popular. I mean, it has legions of fans, lots of young fans. Um, and it does translate very well to Lego, but you know I think that it's just it's just not something that um, short term is a great investment. Now the big X factor here is you know well what about 20 years out? Because if it has really low inventories and the kids now who love it so much, who are say 10 years old, 15 years old now, well in 20 years they're 35, 30 years old buying these sets back. Are these the kind of sets 20 years out that can be fetching some big bucks? And that is certainly possible. I would not put that out of the realm of possibility. But are you willing to bank 20 years out? These sets would have to literally like be reselling, you know, at 500 bucks a pop. And it's possible, but something I'm not willing to bet my bet the farm on. So unfortunately, the Brick Baron has his advice here and is a no-brainer. That I'm avoiding this as an investment, at least for now. Let's wait. Let's watch it over the next couple of years. Um, when the first the first wave has retired now, like the first night and a few other sets. So we'll wait another couple of years. We'll come back, revisit it, 
and we'll see how they're doing. But um, as of right now, um, I'm going to say stay clear. All right. And that is the Brick Baron. And I am done with this episode. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you later. Bye.